So the two bros reunited and now they are going to live out their new life in the zombie apocalypse. I wonder if we're just going to continue to get an episode between the two of them or we're going to have them uh, not unite but meet up with the first girl or if we're actually going to meet up with our last character within the group before everybody groups up. We'll just have to see. But if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. I do have my full length and full discussions up on Patreon. But other than that, let us get started. Oh, somebody's playing an FPS game out here. Goddamn. Uh, he's not good at the controller. <sighs> Those bullets don't even look like they're hitting anything. <laughs> Damn, dude, they're just living the life up here. Goddamn, on their rooftop stay-at-home camping. Oh, that's one of his stuff done. Paint an oil painting. <laughs> No wonder you can't get a date. Damn! Destroyed! <laughs> oh. Oh. Today. <laughs> you know, they did that in the last episode too, and they also showcase it in the opening. <laughs> the fucking fart jokes. Like, right here. There it is. <laughs> A flight attendant. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna see a flight attendant. It's our list now, comrade! That's like a... Consider me along for the ride, very nice. Where where are you gonna find these people? <laughs> it's I feel that. <laughs> Ooh, variety shows. Mm-hmm. Mm, maybe you could add that to your Maybe you can add that to you. Uh oh. Man, man was daydreaming out here. It's a firefighter shooting fire. <laughs> How are you guys gonna fucking carry it? Oh shit, man's driving with his dog out here. Oh, is this a Resident Evil reference? <laughs> man's eating a burger and crying. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Might as well, right? Oh, you say you're along for the ride, so... Damn, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's going... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's a whole fucking group of people. Oh, shit. You brought the... <laughs> ah, we'll be fine. I mean, we'll be fine. We don't know about you guys, but we'll be fine. <laughs> Jen, stop making fucking noises around here. Alright. <laughs> I don't know about the drinking part, but, you know, y'all are just gonna get loud if you get drink. Oh, wow, she really dropped him the- his- his beer, eh? <gasps> is this like a- is this like a mixer or something? Whining and dining. I don't know about the- the dining part, but y'all snacking for sure. <sighs> oh, 
<laughs> well, that's it. That's done. It's got like suitcases. Like there were are these like idols or something? I was, I, I was looking at them. Or flight attendants, actually, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, you're flight attendants. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> You're whining. We're whining and dining with flight attendants. No, <laughs> no. Damn, don't you took an entire. Yeah, dude, she took an entire fucking bottle of whiskey. Was that or scotch? Actually, that looked like a scotch bottle. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There are zombies all over the place. Hmm. <laughs> he doesn't know what to talk about. He hasn't had a life for like the past three years. He's just, he's a fucking professional, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed. Oh, all right. I don't know about the- I was like, I don't know about the snorting the tequila. This man's- Yeah, that would totally make- Wait, hold on. Go for a boy. Man really fucking- <laughs> oh, look at him. He's still thinking about how, like, oh, thank God. Oh? The man's fucking throwing up right now. You think he's okay? Damn, dude. Oh, this guy's fucking... Oh, of course he is. Of course he's infected. A shadow of its glory days. Uh-oh. Oh, well, she. it seems like she's the first one to go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh my god. <laughs> the pity. <gasps> but is he alive? That's the question. <laughs> the poor lad. And that's why she's still alive right now, anyways. <laughs> oh, we're like, did he, he literally fucked her so hard she's walking like a zombie. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Damn! Went straight for her. She's a runner. Damn. Holy shit. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Better keep beating her, though. Better keep going. Technically, she was already dead. <laughs> ah. She's still alive. Keep beating her. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Three out of four. <gasps> 
Look at him, trauma bonding. I can, yeah, I can feel that as a flight attendant. You're traveling all the time. And like, if you're not dating someone on the same field. Well, since he says that, I guess he's not getting service then, huh? Mm. This is your dream. Uh oh. Uh oh, here comes the old guy. Uh oh. Damn, dude. He made quick work of her. Ah. Damn. She got bit. It's over! It's over! Oh, air sick. Hmm. Oh, maybe she'll help him remind him of his- of his, of a dream that he probably had once, huh? Eh? Or at least she helped her realize it towards the end, huh? Eh? Towards the end of her life. But check this out, we got the TV. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, 8K. Still got your bro, Nian. How are you guys? Hey, how, oh, oh, they're sandwiching it. All right. <laughs> oh, back to the rooftop part. Oh, God, with the fucking 8K screen. Oh, I'm living. <laughs> Oh, I guess he's putting it, find a dream job? Remember my childhood dream. Ah. <laughs> I'm living. Alright, so, uh, that answers my question of we're only just getting an episode more focused on just Kencho and Akira. Or in this case, right, with, uh, the, 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 the theme of, uh, 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 uh dreams, right? What do you aspire to be? And so with the talk of that from, uh, Yukari, I think that's what it is, and Kencho. Also, with the uh, the whole joke about him just stripping <laughs> in front of all the flight attendants, all I could think of was, well, you know, he's lucky he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. They make quick work. Hero of the dead. Must be the samurai girl then. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're we're gonna go back to the center. Alright, so that was episode f f four of Zombie 100 Bucket List of the Dead. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. You know that I always like talking to you guys. For me, I thought that this was a Pretty, pretty nice episode, right? Uh, as I mentioned with the whole idea of a uh, dream job, we, we've got Kensho talking about it and how this was what he wanted to be when he was a kid. And so Akira starts thinking about like, whoa, what did I want to do as a kid? Right, maybe I must have had some sort of dream before, but I've lost it uh, along the way. So now, uh, and, and and then after talking to uh, Yukari, 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 Yukari or, or anyway. <laughs> After talking to you, you got a, one of the uh, flight attendants uh, and her talking about her dream job, right? And in the end that even though she felt a little sad about that old man talking shit about her, this is still her dream job, right? And because of Akira, it made her realize that, yeah, 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 this is her dream job and she is happy working here despite all of the, uh, the grueling uh, uh, what is it, the, the, the grueling, uh, work time and all that, right? Working as a flight attendant, uh, 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 as I was wondering, it's probably a lot of, uh, it's, it, it's a lot of air time, right? You're, you're traveling a lot, you're always off somewhere, and, uh, and you, you probably don't often see your family as well, because you're too busy working, and if you're working, you're traveling all the time. 
And then I, I know that in terms of not like flight attendants, but like pilots in general, I know that there's been a shortage of pilots because the, the issue is that, I mean, you're, you're, you have to train and you have to pilot and you have to man, you have to man a fucking airplane of hundreds of people. And, and, and you're not even getting paid that much, right? It's it, that, 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 I remember that's one of the big issue with like the shortages of pilots because, well, I mean, what's the point of piloting and you're, you're putting yourself at risk all, all the time and you're getting paid so little and you're not even getting to see your, your family as well, right? With pilots, it's the same thing as flight attendants. You're going to be flying all over the fucking place when you're working. So you're, you're probably working long hours as well. And, and yeah, you're just getting fucking paid chump change. And it's just like, what's the point? <laughs> Anyways, it's not what I, I got into a little rant about pilots and, and the lack of pay that they get. <laughs> just like almost every other fucking social service works. <laughs> I will say though, these two having their little party up, up on the roof and everything. Uh, you know... Sounds fun and all, but I don't know about wanting to sit in the sun all day, especially when you're up on the rooftop, you know, you're higher up. <laughs> letting the sun bake you a little bit better. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but you know what? At least we've got the change. He he went from this tiny little screen to a fucking 8K screen. <laughs> it's, it's humongous. I'm surprised they managed to get it up on the rooftop without much trouble. I mean, as long as you you know, put it sideways and all that, it'll get through the door, but... <laughs> Are there not any zombies in here? Also, uh, I will say the idea of, oh, I'm gonna get a girlfriend in the zombie apocalypse and all that. I, I don't particularly enjoy it, right? I don't really find the idea of, but like, this is just me. <laughs> it's, it's just me. <laughs> but I don't particularly find the idea of, oh, it's the zombie apocalypse, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bone someone, right? I, I don't really... <laughs> and it's just like, oh, you find a bunch of hot flight attendants, you know? And this is like the perfect time to bang because, well, we're, we're, we're in a bit of a precarious situation. And one of the ways that you could forget about it is to just get drunk and have sex. And I'm just kind of like... It's whatever. Really makes me think of... um. I don't know why I'm thinking of the fucking movie Fury. <laughs> but if, if you know, you know, it's that one part where the the American soldiers get into, uh, f find a house with like German civilians and then, you know, the sex part happens. And it was just like, all right. But that's not the same, right? It's not the same. But I'm talking about like the environment of like it being a precarious situation. But it's not the same because there's a very big difference in, uh, just, just ignore what I'm talking about right now, but there's a very big difference <laughs> in, in what I'm talking about. But I'm, I'm getting an odd reminding of it because of just the environment, uh, not, but not of, like, the actual scenario and what had happened in, in, in theory. But yeah, to, to most or to some, I don't know, I don't want to uh, assume all of it, but, uh, this is probably the perfect opportunity or whatever, right? This is probably a, a great time. <laughs> Although I will say when Akira just comes straight up to y y Yukari and just ask if she had a boyfriend, it was just, and she's just like, you really think this is the fucking time to ask me about that? It was, Jesus Christ. <laughs> mm. I did talk about Akira and how he, not for say, has fully grasp on the severity of the zombie apocalypse, but he kind of does. It's just that he uh, he, he shows it. He, he sometimes he'll he'll show it sometimes, right? When it actually happens in his face, like with uh, with, with what happened to y y Yuka, uh, Yukari, or what had happened to that previous family who got fucking absolutely demolished, right? The family that he wanted to get get a bit of a drink with. He'll see that bit of reality, but then afterwards, right? The, he 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 knows that that's how it is, but he kind of just wires himself into like, well, it's not as bad as my exploitative company, right? So I'm totally fine with that. And so when we kind of had this moment where it, it was both Kencho as well, because Kencho was reading, because no, you know, uh, uh, Kencho is like, I'm here for the ride now. I'm gonna help. I'm I'm gonna go go along with you for for your bucket list. So the idea of whining and dining a flight attendant, it's just like, wow, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty nice, right? They're they're having this bit of a <laughs> imagination before reality kicks in, right? The zombies coming in, hey. 
let us fucking join in on this fucking party. <laughs> and hold on, uh, as she goes, all right, it, a, a, after that one lady leave, and he, he starts thinking, he's like, oh, what should I do? This is my chance to wine and dine flight attendants like I've always wanted, but they're clearly not having a good time. This is bad. And, and he starts thinking about like, oh, when I was a student, I only care about club stuff. And then when I started working, all I care was about work stuff, right? I don't have anything to talk about. And it, <laughs> and yeah, you know, that's, that, that's why Akira needs that other girl from episode two, right? Who actually is putting her head inside the mind of this is, this, this is a fucking zombie apocalypse and I'm going to do everything, right? She's got her book, A Hundred Things to Do in order to not become a zombie. And, and currently, Akira, right now, right? He doesn't really have somebody who can pull him down to that 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 serious situation for the most part. Right? He, he Again, he still acknowledges that there are these, these serious situations when it actually comes and blows up on his face. But right now, with just him and Kencho, Kencho is very much... His, uh, not his wingman, because he definitely isn't. He's literally s s stealing girls from him. <laughs> stealing women from him. <laughs> Getting the ladies, unlike him. But he's, he's, I was gonna say he's his yes man. But they're bros, right? They're just bros. And of course, they're gonna agree with each other. And so, Kensho, and, and also Kensho's this type of guy who, it seems like he, he doesn't really know how to make decisions when, when they're in a precarious situation. Right, he's always looking towards to Akira, where he's just like, what are we gonna do, Akira? Akira, what are we gonna do? Right, and it was Akira who had to do the, uh, the fucking maneuver and all that. Albeit, you know, I get it, Kencho wasn't riding, but Kencho still could have just been like, hey, maybe we could do, do this, this, and this, right? And you can go and drive. But instead of trying to figure that out for himself, he's relying on Akira to go and do it for him. So, with just these two, uh, these two bros right now in their group, right? They, there's really nobody who's the anchor for them. Because, like, when they fly, they fucking fly high. They don't, they don't, they, there's nobody to pull them back down. Just like, hey, guys, stop. <laughs> so, uh, it, it, it's nice seeing their dynamics. And it's nice seeing how, uh, how once the group is going to be put together. I don't know how that other girl is going to be. It seems like she's probably, I mean... She's, she's, she's dressing up as a samurai, so, I don't know, maybe she's probably the same as Akira and Kensho as well, where, like, she's on the, she, she's on some other fucking high plane, but maybe she's even further up on the high planes than Akira and Kensho. I don't know, and, but for the most part, it kind of feels like we're solely establishing the, the group dynamics, despite us not really having the, the full group dynamic just yet, right? And again, with us being that second, uh, that girl in the, in the second episode, she, she is going to play as the anchor for these, uh, for, for these boys, and maybe for the girl as well, I, for, for that samurai girl. <laughs> But hopefully we're going to see that samurai chick in the next episode. And if not, you know, I, I did wonder about, you know, a, a character who's going to appear later in the in the show. A.K.A. like episode 7 or 8 or something. <laughs> well, we'll just have to see. But hopefully it's the next episode. <laughs> or, or it's going to be an episode where Akira and Kensho meet up with the girl from the second episode. I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll just have to see when it comes out, right? I do find it very fun that we've got this Resident Evil 2 reference, and I assume maybe we're gonna get more references to other zombie games or movies or books or whatever, but I probably won't catch a lot of them, you know? <laughs> as much as I do like zombies, I don't really watch a lot of TV shows, right? So it's not really, it's not really my thing. But yeah, I, I, I do recognize this as like a, a Resident Evil 2 reference, which is very fun, right? We've got a bit of a car wreck, like a, a, a blockage, essentially, right? When Claire and Leon are driving into Raccoon City and then they get they, they, they get blocked by all like the, the cars and stuff. It, I don't know if there was already a bit of fire, but it, it, the fire definitely starts after the, the fucking truck guy. <laughs> and I love this fucking fireman. <laughs> This little zombie fireman. And so afterwards, right, we, we get to see this fucking gas tank. And, and I'm just looking up there. I'm just like, oh, it's a trucker driving, right? Oh, there's a dog there too. But I don't know. Maybe it's also a reference to Resident Evil because it's technically a Doberman. And we often see Doberman in, in, in the Resident Evil too, right? So. <laughs> and so. 
<laughs> so uh, I, just, I, I was just thinking, I'm like, is this a Resident Evil? And then they just, I see this man eating a fucking burger. I'm like, of course he is. <laughs> and then, you know, he's crashing into everything. And then it's just slowly coming down the road. And like, you have to figure out what you need to do in order to uh, get the fuck past. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's very fun. I, I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> But that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. Uh, again, the whole main thing is him trying to find out what his childhood dream is and like the idea of dream jobs, working in a job that you really like. And it's, <laughs> it, it makes me think of, cause I was watching my dress up darling again recently and it's for uh, Wakana's grandpa and how he says, well, when you love something, it will help you stick out through the rough times. And that's how it is for, uh, for, for Yukari. Uh, uh, and so, you know, very nice with the whole idea, but then we've got the whole segment with like the flight attendant girls and like, I I, I mean, just, just knowing as a zombie, uh, as a zombie thing, if you introduce other people and <laughs> if you just introduce other people, there's going to be a very high probable chance, especially if they're not the main character, there's going to be a very high probable chance that they are going to fucking die. And, uh, it, you know, it, it's really hard for me to be like, oh man, that's really sad for, for these people who have died in, in, in the same episode, right? Because I know that they're going to die in the end anyways. So, I, I, for, for that, I don't really feel much. I don't really, uh, I, I don't really have too much to talk about there, especially with the other two girls who don't really make too much of a significance to Akira anyway. So, doesn't really matter. <laughs> but... That's pretty much all I have, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna continue on Patreon for the full discussion. But, if I have anything, I will write in the description down below, and if I don't see you on Patreon, then I will see you when I see you. <laughs>